All right, so I've already delitted one of these guys, and they're Xeon X5675s. See, they're soldered CPUs. Um, did I just say soldered? Soldered. Um, got that heat spreader off. Yep, that's the X5675. Pretty old processor, but it's six core, 12 thread. Goes in the Mac Pro real nice. Um, so essentially, what I did here, I saw a couple videos on YouTube, people doing this, and I figured I'd give it a shot. These processors are 40 bucks for the pair, so it's not too expensive. So what I do is I'll take this and put it over the top so that if it does pop, it doesn't go flying. And what I'll do is I'll take my vise, roll, I mean, the videos I saw on YouTube, the guy, most of them didn't have vices with uh, lever arms this big. and like a little itty bitty one, maybe about that long. I think it makes it a lot easier to go slow with it if you have a very long lever arm. So I've got it locked in there. Essentially you put uh, that part of the heat spreader on that side and then you put the PCB on the other side. And no, it doesn't crush the PCB. And you'll just slowly that in focus just slowly turn this thing just very slowly you don't want to put too much pressure on it at one time because then you might rip the die off the pcb but you just want to slowly apply pressure to it and slowly rip that solder out it's relatively easy to do this I think it's better than the method of putting uh what you call it's in the in the epoxy razor blades in the epoxy so got it pretty good might be moving already can't really tell yeah you can kind of see the epoxy coming out right there so i'm just going to keep turning this guy Just slowly applying pressure to it. Eventually, it'll start to give way. Right. I've made it about a half turn. Then check it. Yeah, you can see it starting to slide off. So we'll pull this up. I'll just pull it back now, slowly. And I can start to feel it giving up now. And that should be it. Yep, just popped. So you can key, see it kind of slid off of there. Um, not exactly sure if it's all the way off yet. Let me put the camera down real quick. Yep, it's off. That's CPU number two deleted. So there you go. Looks pretty good. No damaged uh, capacitors on the PCB. Looks good.